Sean Strickland won that fight. I'm getting straight to the point. Not waste nobody's time. This UFC is rigged. Dana White himself said that Sean got robbed. My boy, let's think about it. Why did they not want Sean having the belt? Because he's a very controversial man, quote unquote. Because people don't like freedom of speech these days. That's my argument. I could be tripping, you let me know. But looking back at the stats, I seen Strickland post on his actual story with Poetan Pereira reposting as well on his story that he outboxed the hell out of Duplessis. And yes, I know, MMA is not all about boxing and striking. Yes, Duplessis only took Strickland down maybe around two times, if I'm not mistaken. If I am mistaken, correct me. I don't really care to go back and watch the fight because I know this guy got robbed. It's that simple. Look at me comboing up Pereira right now in the game, though. Let's see what you got, Pereira. About to combo this guy up. Nice, nice, nice. Stunned him. Left hook. You can't weave me. You cannot duck me. It's Shawnee Boy Strickland, the best boxer of all time in UFC history. Maybe second place to Chuck Liddell, but that's an argument for another day. Weave? Spot him, I got him. I seen that chin hanging, I had uppercut. Now we trying to weave again, but you got a hook, buddy. You can't outbox me. Maybe stick to your distance game and use your legs to your advantage. Look at you, liver's weak, buddy. You cannot drink for days, Poetan. A minute and a half left in round one. Nice uppercut, and now it's getting pretty calm. Hold up, hold up, let me get right. What's up? Ooh, backhand, reverse backhand. Look at that, bro. I could have ended you right there, my friend. I give you mercy. Run that back, though. Staminas are going downhill at this point in time. We're still brawling out all the way. Nice uppercut to the body there. We're still stepping forward. Backhand did not work. Weave. He has my liver. He has my liver. Look at that weave, though. Oh, Philly shell. Come on, Sean. Philly shell that boy, Pereira. Watch this. I'm going to combo with the body and go for an uppercut or something. Let me see if I can catch him with this one. Push up, bro. Push up. Bruh. I just missed that hook, bro. Pereira, you are lucky, dog. He's off of Zen right now. That's why he's so cracked. This guy's going insane in the brain. Well, oh, hold on. Charge up that overhand. And night, night, he goes. <sighs> Boys, I cannot stress this enough. In boxing, especially in UFC 5, know your space. Use your distance to your advantage. I'm going to demonstrate that technique in this video, in this gameplay right here, to be specific against this freaking uh yeah costa guy and um yo chat let me know down below if you enjoy ufc 5 i got cooked right there with that uppercut but it doesn't matter let me know if you got if you guys like ufc 5 if you're enjoying it and who is your favorite fighter as of right now me i'm still with nate diaz and strickland right now i love strickland's boxing it's overpowered he can eat punches as well and we can trade off in the key all day long Right, yeah, take a look at my space in here. You see how I push up forward and then I plant my feet and start boxing? Yeah, you get more power and more uh, control that way. If you move forward and start throwing jabs and you're moving up backwards, forward, whatever the case may be, you're going to lose power. And then if he hits you with a counter, you might drain your stamina a lot more. So just take your time. See, space management. Look at me. Look at the way I'm boxing this guy up. I'm in his head now because no matter what he does, he cannot hit me. I have him in my little key. And if you can, like, master this with Strickland, of course, it's overpowered. Look, good night. You can't do nothing about it. You really can't. I'm in his head all day long. I like the uh, player selection here for Spider against Strickland. I don't see people rocking Spider no more. It's always... Uh, Pereira or Izzy. Look at the head movement. I'm weaving this guy. We're in the Matrix. He's trying to weave back. I mean, you should be able to weave better because you are Spider Silva. But it's not looking too good for you. Stamina's already drained. I'm doing a head movement game with Strickland. I want to master that head movement. I was pretty good in UFC 4. Ooh that was too clean. Nice back in. It was that easy? It was that easy. Nah. Y'all better hurry up and start using Strickland before he gets patched. I'm saying it right here. You heard it here first. Let's put everything aside for a quick moment. Before I wrap up the video, I want to say thanks for watching. And secondly, I am back. For a little short period of time, I wasn't really uploading. I was doing videos here and there. But honestly, the game is mediocre in my opinion. I don't have the most fun playing it. But for you guys, I think I got to come back and save the UFC community. Because Pryoxys, people like that, like all the, the top people of UFC 5 clearly are not enjoying the game as much as the previous UFC. So I'm back. I'm going to do my absolute best to bring entertainment. And of course, I'll mix up some face cam videos, some real life content, gym videos, sparring videos with my boys. You name it, man. 
If you guys have any suggestions for videos, please feel free to drop them down below. I'm taking every single suggestion, and I don't care, man. Any, any constructive criticism, please go ahead and drop it, man. Let's get, let's get this comeback going, and uh, thanks for watching. It's been your boy Soldier back on the mic. And remember, hard work and discipline will create magic. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. We out.